Okay, so let's talk about opening up textures files. This is the way we suggest that's most compatible with most versions of Live. We're going to work with Live's browser. So if you don't see the browser over here on the left hand side of your screen, use your show hide button, which is this little triangle, and that's going to open up your browser. And we're going to work with File Browser 1 in this instance. What we need to do is navigate to where our textures folder is located on our computer. To do that, we can use our bookmarks browser. So in this case, it's, I know it's on my desktop, so I'm going to click desktop. Then scroll down till I see that folder. Here it is, Loops and Worship Textures. Double click. Then I see my project folders. Uh, I want to work with some sounds from Brightpad, so I'm going to double click that. And then from here, we want to click our arrow, and that's going to basically open up our live set within our browser and let us see the different tracks we have. If I want to drag in this first track here, which is 80s Pad Heaven, uh, I'm going to click and hold my mouse and then drag up uh, to the right of this track in this little area, gray area here and let go and we see 80s pad heaven load in really quick and really easy to do. Now the way to do this is double click on any of these tracks. Let's load uh, device on track 6 in. Double click. You see that show up good working pad. I could load in uh, track 2, DX7-ish. The other thing is we could load in multiple sounds. I could select uh, track 1, hold down shift and then click track 6. Do the same thing as we did before. I'm going to click and hold my mouse, drag up here and drop those in. And that's how we open up textures files in Ableton Live.